That is the rear bench seat out of my 2008 F250 um, budget Overland camper. And uh, I'm in the process of upgrading the seats. I'm going from uh, some vinyl, had a vinyl uh, bench seat in here. Found a really good deal on um, some King Ranch rear seats. It's not exactly you know what I was going for, but I found a good deal. And I almost had the front seats with King Ranch, but um, I went to a salvage yard and drove an hour and a half to get there. They quoted me a price for the rear and the front. And then when I got there, they ended up saying, oh, we made a mistake. And the front are actually double what we quoted you. And I backed out of the deal on the front seats and said, no, I'm not going to do that. It was bad business practice. It's a uh, salvage yard that's in, I think it's Carrollton. And I won't, I won't mention the name unless you guys, you know, really want to know. But uh, Anyway, I was going to have some King Ranch front seats. Uh, they didn't have any rips on them or anything, but it, it was in a wreck, and they'd been out in the weather a little bit, so they needed to be treated. But uh, I ended up, this is a budget build, so I ended up getting some other seats that are out of a 2016 Lariat, which I'm in the process of installing those and replacing this bench. I like the bench, and actually, I, you know, kind of prefer the having a bench. Yeah, I mean, it's nice in a truck, but this was this is not a very good one. It kind of kind of slopes. There, they've seen better days. Um, like the seat thing right there is kind of you know, I don't know, kind of chintzy. I mean, it's okay for a work truck and everything, but uh, also my wife and I, when we were driving in this thing, we realized the other day that uh, we like to sit at different angles and you know closer or further from the dash. So bucket seats make you know, more sense to us, and maybe a console in the middle. Not console, but maybe uh, I can add a uh, jump seat in the middle. So that's the plan, and let me show you my plan B. These seats don't match the King Ranch seats, but I got a really good deal on those King Ranch seats, and I'm I'm keeping them in there, staying in there. Here is the good deal that I picked up um, from a local individual on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Guy's okay, really cool. These came out of his truck that he flipped. It was a 2016 F-250. I guess it was a Lariat because it's like uh, power everything, lumbar support, um, and they got airbags, which I don't think I can interface those in my truck, but um, they'll just remain in there. Um, I don't think the I think they'll match pretty well, and it'll it'll match the interior of my truck. It's just I'll have a back seat with uh, King Ranch. Oh, the good thing about the King Ranch, another reason I'm keeping it, is that um, it's an up, another upgrade to the seat that I had. Is it's got this nifty little rack, this nifty little um, tool um, rack right here, and the other side does the same thing. And it gives you a nice place, like we could put a dog bed there or whatever we want. Or if you want to carry tools and not scratch up the interior of your truck, uh, you got a nice flat surface uh, to put them on. So, thought that was a big bonus. And this joker's heavy too, man. If you're trying to put this thing in here by yourself, ooh, kill your back. I am going to run into some issues, like this rear seat. The, the other one had a mounting point here and on the other side. This one's got a mounting point here and there in the middle. But I'm not, I don't think I need to uh, drill holes and I'm not going to go through the process of doing that. I think it's fine just like it is. It's, you know, got the same support that the other one did. I don't know why they added two more in the middle, I guess because it's a split bench. But it's a little nicer. So, got to see if I can make these front seats fit. Going from a 2008 to a 2016 going to run into some issues and this truck is an XLT and it's not wired for power seats so these are powered seats and I'm going to have to make some changes let's see which one is the this is the driver's seat right here they are also cooled and heated I'm going to have to figure out how to do the, the cooling and the heating part of it um this is the passenger side, which is real easy to wire up. If you just want the seat to move, there's just two wires you wire up, uh, a negative and a positive, and this, you know, this will bolt, should bolt right in. 
And I'll let you know if I find any surprises because I've never done this before. The problem arises when you try to do the driver's side seat. And you have this black box right here, which is the memory module. And that interfaces with a CAN bus system, which is basically talks to the computer in the truck. Uh, and what happens is these motors are wired through here and the switches are wired through here. So you have to eliminate this piece of equipment and um, wire it directly to the motors, to the switches. And it's an involved process, but luckily there's a guy out there who's done all the homework for us. And I'm going to put a link to his video because that's where I found out the information how to do this. He's made it super simple for us, at least to make, move the seats. He hadn't put the information out there yet to um, about the heating and cooling. I'll figure that out later. I'm not right now. I just want them in this truck and in working, and then I'll wire up the uh, heating and cooling later. But um, anyway, let's get started. Okay, the video I'm using is from uh, Zachary McFarland. Hope I'm uh, saying his name right. Um, anyway, he shows. Um, just two wires that you need to strip and one of them is a black wire with a white stripe and the other one is a violet wire with a red stripe and I assume that the black wire is for ground and the uh, violet wire is uh, positive so I'm going to uh, go ahead and solder some leads to these and um, test out whether we have movement for the seat or not um, in his video, he shows that he strips off, you know, some of these other modules and stuff. Um, I elected to leave them connected and um, just uh, wire these up and even leave the connector because, you know, you never know. I might use these seats for something else one of these days. Um, anyway, I'm going to try to do it that way and see if it works. So. All right, here goes. Wired up on this seat, and everything else is intact. Now I've got to do the other one. That's going to be the challenge. Yeah, these little jokers go for like a hundred bucks on eBay. Said and done. It has a cool trigger and a heat trigger, and you got your ground positive. Let's do this for both seats. Charge five hundred bucks. And that's with the So I've spliced my power wires in. Um my ground in my power. And uh, supposedly according to this guy's uh wiring diagram, and we can't make it out here you don't have to do anything with the lumbar so if I have the power wired up correctly the lumbar should work the other wires for the controls of the motors I'm gonna to have to uh, match those up but right now at least I can test and see if I have my power correct and the way I'll test it is if my lumbar works hopefully I won't be blowing any airbags up I saw this one video where a guy did something hit one of these wires and blew the airbags. I have uh, disconnected the airbag because I don't want to accidentally set that thing off. Stick some power to it. Hopefully I've got the right wires here. All right, now we just gotta see if the lumbar works. I was going to be try to be slick and uh, just pull the uh, pins out of the connectors and just connect the uh, the pins together, and you know make it so you could always reverse engineer it. But pff, that was way harder than it than it should be. So we're going the tried and true method of just cutting the old wiring out and uh, just wire the motor to the switches like the uh, the video says to do. All right, what do we got going on here? This connector's going away. So basically, it's gone. 
just about. Okay, so I went through the wiring, uh, followed the, the wiring diagram he had, and um, looks like I got everything wired up and working correctly. I don't want to move it around too much, but um, this is just to make sure I don't have anything crossed up. So. That's the recline, decline, rear up, rear down. Now I'm going to tidy up this wiring, solder everything, and heat shrink it together. But uh, everything's wired correctly and working. And as you can see, all the power works on the driver's side. Hey, thanks for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do for future updates. Remember, build it, don't buy it.